So, I've got lots of uh, tutorials on the blog, but um, I don't. I think I think that people prefer to um, watch videos mm -hmm. and to see how to do things rather than. Um, it's because rather than read, rather than read. Yeah. That's, that I'm recording it now. Oh, you well, can. You can. We have to be sensible. Well, well, okay. You can join in. Why are you putting pressure on me? Um, <laughs> so, uh, right, yes. So, a lot. One of the problems that people always have in Final Cut when they're first learning is that, for some reason, well, I know the reason, but for some reason, they lose the timeline and they lose this window too. So, I'm going to make that happen, which is like that. And they spend ages trying to make it come back, and it's a really, really, really easy thing to fix. A lot of people look up here for things. See, I've well practiced this. I've done it a few times now. A lot of people up here for looking for things to find the timeline because they can't find it and they don't know what to click on. And it's sorry, it's all right. <laughs> it's really easy. You just have to click on the sequence you're working on. Um, you have all these clips here. These are just your video clips. And you also have the sequence which you're working on. And if you double click on it, it just reappears. And that's how easy it is. And you can have other sequences running at the same time in the same project. So if you wanted to make a separate edit, where you wanted to make a different version, for example, a director commentary, you could have that in sequence two, and in sequence one you could have your main edit. So there you go. That's how to make the timeline window come back if you lose it. What do you think, Spencer? That's brilliant. It's so easy.